Nano Banano, which is Google's new state-of-the-art model that shook the AI space last week, is now in N8N. Because if you haven't heard, last week there was a mysterious new image model release that's codenamed Nano Banana. And when people tested it out, it consistently outperforms other models when it comes to photo editing, making sure text comes out perfectly, and just overall making images look real. Well, just a few hours ago, this model was revealed as the new Gemini image model by Google, which you can try out today at Gemini's website and is now also in N8N. And here, I will teach you how to use it to create UGC ads like this. Okay, but I seriously love this fit. Um, the color blocking and the way it sits. Got it from the iconic and it's Polo Ralph Lauren. I got these chairs from Home Living Australia and honestly, they look so good in the lounge. I've had so many compliments already. They're actually so comfy. I love just sitting here with a coffee or reading. Plus the cushions are super soft. Crunch Fitness is now open right here in North Sydney. Super easy to get to and the vibe is awesome. They've got all brand new equipment and heaps of space. Honestly, can't wait to hit my workouts here. So all of those videos have been generated by this automation that's powered by Nano Banana using simple sentence prompts like this to give us great videos like the ones you saw all on autopilot. And remember, what you're seeing here is the worst that it will ever be because as just proven by Nano Banana, as new models get released, the quality of these will only go up and the cost will also slowly go down. So if you're serious about taking advantage of how AI is changing the brand and content world and with demand for AI agents and automation rising fast if you just check Google Trends, then picking up the skill to make these AI systems, which are all no code anyway, so anyone can learn them, is bound to pay off for you in a significant way. So if you have the time, invest some to listen till the end, and you might just pick up a new skill to add to your AI tech stack. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Jay. I run my own AI creative agency and also founded the Robo Nuggets community, where we have several hundred AI practitioners and creators now who are all located across the globe. And where our mission is simple, is to make creating with AI easy to learn, regardless what your background is. All right, so the first time that I saw Nano Banana last week, I knew for sure that it would be good when it comes to creating UGC ads. And in this video that we did last week, we showed how to make this workflow that creates UGC ads like this on autopilot. But back then, I was actually using ChatGPT's 4.0 image model which I found to be the best for this use case, at least at the time. So now that Nano Banana is officially released, we can now tweak this workflow to use this new image model. So I'll show you how we did that in a bit. But basically, the plan for this video is to compare the results of our previous AI system, which uses ChatGPT's image model under the hood, and we compare it with Google's new image model using this tweaked automation. And we'll also be doing four tests across different products that people were curious about. We'll test them to promote a new business location. We'll try them out for fashion and apparel, check how they work for furniture, and also handheld products, which we already featured a lot, so we know that it works. But this time, we'll use an animated character instead, just to keep it interesting. But before we do that, let me just quickly show you how I integrated Nano Banana into this N8N workflow, which if you're completely new, N8N is basically an automation tool similar to Zapier or Make.com, but has become super popular because of its flexibility with using AI. But with this workflow, to illustrate it visually, it is actually quite simple with just a few steps, because how it works is you have an input section here where you feed it a prompt along with an image. You have this first step, which generates the first frame of the video that you're about to create. So we are calling an image model for this. Then we have this second step, which now takes that first frame and generates eight second videos using VO3. And the reason why it's eight seconds is because currently there's the limitation that VO3 has right now. And once those clips are generated, we just have this final step to combine and stitch those clips together, thus producing our final output, which our Telegram agent sends back to us. So now in this whole picture, where will Nano Banana need to be integrated? Well, it's quite simple because Nano Banana is an image model. So we'll be doing that in step one. So the only job to be done is to change the ChatGPT 4.0 image model into Google's new Nano Banana tool. And just hours ago, File.ai just introduced Nano Banana in their website as well. Which again, if you're new, Fall.ai is basically an AI model aggregator that functions similar to an app store. So you can see here that they have something like 300 plus AI models already. And the service they provide is they let us connect to these models so much easier versus having to learn how to connect to each of them directly. So if we search for Nano Banana here, you'll see a couple of options. The one we want is this image to image one. And in this playground, you can actually test the model yourself. But the one we are after is this API documentation, which I've already read through, so you don't have to. So now if we go back to N8N, what I basically just changed is this create image node, which if we open that in the new and the 
old version, and just zoom that in, you'll see that the change made here is the different URL, which is where we are sending the request to. Previously, we were using GPT-40 image using another AI model aggregator called KAI. But for this one, we are now using NanoBanana using file AI. And this URL I just got from that pretty long documentation I showed earlier. We also changed the credential to file AI, which I showed in previous videos how to do. And finally, the request message that we are sending itself also needed to change. So if we open this new one, you'll see that the parameters here, which are these ones, prompt and image URLs, are entirely different versus the previous one because file AI's documentation says that this is how it should be submitted. So that was the change for the create image node. Now for the get image, you'll see this is also slightly different because the way file AI works is that to get the image that you requested for, you will need to get it from this response URL, which they will be providing you once you submit that request. So if I just load an execution that has completed and just open that, you'll see that response URL looks something like this, which contains the information of the request that you just made with file AI. So now once you change the credential as well to file AIs, then this node should be set up as well. And finally, if you are using an if node, what this basically does is just check if your generation has already finished. And so previously with key AI, we were basically checking if the success flag of key AI is already equal to one, which means that it has finished generating. But as per file AI's documentation, this one is slightly different because what they give you whenever the image has already generated are these attributes. So what I just put here is a condition where this URL, which I drag there, is not empty, meaning there was an image in here. And that's all there really is to it. This is also good information for you because at some point when we get a new image model, which is very likely given the tech giants have a lot of resources being put into these technologies, then when a new model is released, the way that you update your automations and workflows will also be in the same way. So now you know. But cool, so now I will show you the results of our test. So you can see here what I did is to set up two Telegram agents, one for ChatGPT's image model and the other for NanoBanana. And what I did earlier is just to send a bunch of requests so that they generate the videos under the hood so that we can review them together. And here are the results. All right, for this first one, we're going to try to create a UGC that is meant to announce the opening of a new business location for this gym. And you can see this prompt is pretty simple. And when we tried both models, these are the images that we got. So this is from ChatGPT's image model, and this is Google's Nano Banana. So honestly, they both look really good, and they're able to capture the text here for a world gym, which is what's important here anyway. But with ChatGPT's image model, if you have used it a couple times, you may notice that there's always this orange to yellow sheen to it, which is quite prominent for this specific image that they generated. Meanwhile, for Nano Banana, I would say that it was able to capture the color tones of the original image much more closely. And then with automation, it automatically fed these images into the VO3 Fast model in order to generate these videos. Hey, so I just hopped out of my workout. World Gym is finally open in North Sydney, and this place looks incredible for anyone into fitness. Honestly, the equipment inside is next level, and everyone here seems super friendly. Uh, can't wait to come back tomorrow. Hey guys, so I just found out World Gym is finally open here at North Sydney. Uh, it looks so cool inside and I've been waiting for this. Seriously, I can't wait to start training here. Like the vibe just feels different and everyone seems so pumped. So those are both really good. And the script that the system generated is also very much aligned to our original prompt here. So I think for this one, the key benefit that we see with Nano Banana is the fact that it doesn't have that orange sheen to it. Now for this next one, I got a couple of questions around whether this AI system will also work for furniture. And so here we're just going to try it out where we are dictating the system to create a UGC where there is a woman in her 30s sitting on this furniture and talking about this nest round chair that they got from the Cane Line website. And when the image models generated them, these are the results. So once again, I would say Nano Banana was more adherent to the image, which is pretty clear. Like if you look closely here, this book was almost perfectly captured with the image that Nano Banana generated, which is not something you can say with ChatGPT's image model here. And obviously this is more within the subjective territory, but I do think that this image here on the right is a bit more realistic versus this one. And so the videos that VO3 generated coming from these images are as follows. This is my cane line nest round chair. I got it from their website and honestly, it's the comfiest spot in my place right now. I could honestly sit here for hours the cushion is super soft and the chair just kind of hugs you okay so this cane line nest round chair is actually from their website it's way comfier than it even looks 
honestly, I could stay here all day. It's got the perfect support and the cushion is super soft. So again, both very good. I think the key difference is because the driving image for Nano Banana closely adheres to this studio quality image, it also had that studio quality feel to it, right? And it looked like something that you would see from an interior design show, for example. Now for this next one, we're going to try to make content for apparel. So we got this studio photo coming from a fashion brand's website. We're basically asking to make a video with her talking about how nice this dress is and that she got it from Shopo, which is the brand. And also we said that we wanted her outside with the Sydney Opera House behind her. And so from that prompt, you'll see that the images that they generated are actually quite different. And it seems like the pattern is if you want your AI images to adhere closely to the image that you provide as an input, then Nano banana seems to be the way so when we fed those to vo3 these are the results okay so i just got this dress from shopo and honestly look at this color it's actually perfect for days like this and it's super comfy too i love how flowy it is just feels so nice to wear out with friends honestly loving this dress from shopo the color is just so nice in the sun and it fits perfectly too it feels so floaty and comfy and i just love the ruffle makes it feel a bit extra for a day out here and finally the one we feature the most in this channel are handheld products like this chocolate twix bar for example but this time i wanted to try it out using this character basically we're asking the models to have the character hold the chocolate in his hand and also have him in a room with halloween decor so Coming from that, we get this ChatGPT image and we get this nano banana image. So again, you can see here, the orange and yellow sheen is very prominent. And so the more times that you use ChatGPT's image model, the more you see it arising. But something to point out is, if the packaging of the product is very important to you, you can see that this packaging, there's like three pumpkins in there. Nano banana was able to pretty much copy that exactly. But if you look at ChatGPT's, it wasn't really able to show that with a high level of accuracy. So if you're working with a client, that is probably one of the most important things for them. And the good news is Nano Banana seems to be excelling in that area more than its counterparts. So we now have a better choice. And when we made the videos coming from these images, these are what we got. I found this Twix or Treat candy and it looks absolutely fantastic, yes? Just look at the spooky pumpkin design. And the best part is it tastes so chocolatey and sweet. Perfect little treat for Halloween night. I can't wait to hand these out. I have here the Twix Halloween candy. Ah, such a tasty treat, yes? The chocolate and caramel, they are simply fantastic. You see how it fits perfectly in the hand, ready for trick-or-treaters. Everyone loves chocolatey fun on Halloween night. So those are really good. And I think the dialogue that the system generated there was also quite creative. So overall, I think because a lot of the video generation is so dependent on the image that it starts with, having Nano Banana is definitely an upgrade in our workflows. And if you were to ask me now what I'd recommend generally, especially for beginners, is probably going to be this one, mainly because it doesn't have that yellow sheen that seems to be present in a lot of the ChatGPT images that we generate. Now, this may vary depending on your use case, so the only way to really know is to test it. So if you want to learn how to set up this workflow, then check out our lesson from a week back. Or if you want the templates themselves so you can get started ASAP, then you can check out the Robo Nuggets community where we have all the resources and templates properly organized. Now, most people join our community because of the wealth of lessons on AI and automation that you can get, but a lot of members stay because of the community that we've built. So you can see a lot of wins being shared by our members here and also several paid opportunities and partnership collaborations if that's something that you're looking for. And we also occasionally hang out in real life. So this quarter, for example, each and every member can expense up to 30 USD if they organize a meetup with other members. So that's just one of the perks that we encourage so that we can all learn together in this evolving world that AI is bringing. So see if that's for you just in the link below and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.